Hello friends, family, and the rest. <coughs> it is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to my Let's Play, Learn Art 2 Eternal Blue Complete. In the last episode, we got to these Mer Meriba sewers, and, and we met some awesome frog and fish creatures, and this episode, we're going to finish the sewers, hopefully. Now, you may have noticed that there was a lot of enemies here before, and now there's none. I decided to just go around and kill them all because I showed you all the enemies, but I didn't open any of the chests, so let's go around looting them all. Now this is the last area of the dungeon right here. You want to make sure you're healed up. Use the rest of your herbs if you want to. You can use it to heal everyone up. Use this like a couple starlights for like MP. Um, Ron for definitely needs one. And I think I'm good. So let's go. See, you can tell us the last part because people are following behind us. Oh, boat. Let's see who, who's on that boat. Oh, it's that masked guy from Jean's Dream. And some four, four armed kids. That mask! It's the one that. Well, well. Yes, G. Gee. No, you should. You should know if you pass. Associating with trash like this on a regular basis. I'm disappointed in you. After all, you are my best and brightest student. Then why'd you try to kill her? Left as you did. You didn't leave. You pushed her off a cliff. The ultimate price. Oh really? Come get it. Cow, you're sending your your lackeys after me. That's not cool, man. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, that's not good. Anyways, here we have they're called assassins. Um, they have two attacks. One just two regular attacks for about twenty each. And one um when they're flaming like this, that means they're gonna do an attack that does about sixty damage to you. Not terrible, but um. You definitely want to uh, get them taken care of. Hero always use vortex. I always use vortex for this fight. Um, they're weak, they're su they subdue to uh, poison easily, so use that and use um, I uh, ice attacks. Um, this is, this battle is it's iffy if you want to use butterfly dance because it does poison them. Takes off a lot of HP every every round, but you can't tell if they're going to do that awesome attack or not. That's the only thing that sucks about it. They always have that little, they're always shaking their head yes, but you can't see what they're doing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess you could just risk it and heal every turn, but you never know. Ow. Whoa. Don't go after Ron Far again, please. Go after G or something. No! Ow. Oh well, Ron Far can probably heal Purity Litany or something. Because definitely, you don't want to mess around with these guys. Yeah, go Ruby. See, look at it. Look how much HP that took up. That's crazy. Vortex again. Wait. Give us that Billiam Sword on these two. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Purely let you yourself, because they. Butterfly your hands on these two. And Breeze Claw again. This boss really isn't that hard, but it gave me a lot of trouble when I was younger, because I, was, I didn't learn how to train back then. I wasn't a very good trainer back then. But as you can see now, I'm at, I am. Very much so. Don't kill Ron Far, don't kill Ron Far. Please don't kill Ron Far, don't kill Ron Far. Okay, good. We're in, I think we're in the clear. Yes, okay, good. Dodge this. Why do they have to do that, man? That's not cool. They, I, yeah, baby, yeah. they always move to a place where it's always only one of them being targeted. Oh well. Ow. Well, at least only one of them had the crazy attack thing. That wasn't too bad, I guess. 
really kick his ass. See, look how much damage that takes out. It's crazy. Uh, vortex again. Basically, you just want to do uh, like whole area attacks because there's four of them. You want to make sure you're doing a lot. See, they're, they're strong against fire attacks. Destiny dice. This gene. Um, I think. Swarm Dance does the most damage, but they don't like, get hit by it, obviously. I think it does the most damage out of all of her dances, though, so let's just use that. Maybe they'll die. <laughs> oh, nope. Well, that was a fail. Like, I want, I think you want to attack a hero or something. And I learned something cool. Um, Ruby only attacks um, later in the game when hero is attacked. That's why she was attacking so much when it was only Hero in the party, because only Hero was getting attacked. I never know that. Um, I Heart Movies actually sh uh, showed me that. So that's kind of cool. I Thanks I Heart Movies for the tip. I didn't know that. And that, that makes sense now. Because she attacks us often. Because she he, her Hero doesn't get attacked as much. And over. And we get a lot of experience for that. And also two Angel Tears and 600 Silver. Not bad. But no one levels up because later, like, I just leveled up my team in the last little group of enemies, so. I'm proud to see you still remember that all I taught you, but now you must face me. And we both know that I will use the Shadow Dragon Fist to rip out your beating heart. Shut up! Hiya! Boom. Pwned. My mask! Master, why do you run from your student? Come back and fight! Uh, if you really believe you can have a chance against me, come to the town of Haram. The Tournament of Death will be your most suitable form for your humiliating defeat child. Your death will demonstrate the strength of the Shadow Dragon Fist of the world. I'm looking forward to your reunion, Gene. Ha <laughs> ha. And he goes away. Um, yeah, he's basically just a big coward. He just runs when there's a bit of danger. I mean, come on, he sent... Re uh, rookies or like lackeys to come fight for him instead he of him fighting himself so uh, yeah she have to take the mask to him and G noticed something weird about the man it was his voice and he has a very um definite voice as did uh Lun you know what I'm saying like and the kids are alright but that's good because I mean it sucks because the kids that turn that are taken away are turned into the assassins. So in reality, we just killed four kids, and that makes me feel sad faced, sad panda. Oh well, they deserved it. They didn't want to live anyway. Wow, that sounded really, really, really morbid. And I don't know why, but in this part of the area, it still get the dungeon music, even though you're there's no possibility of having any encounters here. Oh well. Uh, yeah, hey, we're back in the uh. The um, dojo, I think. Yeah, we are. Let's go visit uh, Master Lun, see what he has to say about the whole situation. Maybe he can tell us what about that mask. Maybe he can tell us who it is. Wait, why isn't he there? Hmm. Let's see, maybe his assistant has something to say. Master Lun was summoned to the Pentagulia by the goddess. He won't be back for a long time. Is there something I can help you with in the meantime? Uh, no. I'll be leaving now. It seems that Master Lun is summoned to the holy city where we need to go. Maybe we'll see him there, which we will be going to rather shortly. Um, yeah, so... Let's see, maybe we can get back to Tab and Speak before the end of this episode, because... I'm running, running out of time. Let's heal just for good measure. Alright. Let's go. Unfortunately, that blockade is still there, so we can't go to the next town yet. We have to go up to Tavern's Peak. But I'll show you a little cool thing about Tavern's Peak that I didn't know about. Or that I didn't show you guys on the way back. Um, if you've gone through and talked to the kids and they don't hate you, you can take this gondola thing. I suppose you guys want to ride in the gondola. You don't realize this is an amusement park, do you? Yes, and a yes. Yes, psych! But yeah, yes, yes. Well then, follow me. And you can go up here, and yeah, you can come up here this way. It's kind of cool, I think. But um, I think I'm going to call the video here, guys. Um, this is the um, this Fallen Theory signing out of Zone 2 Eternal Blue Complete. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.